so hello everyone welcome you all to this video so from this video i have decided to all to uh, put some of the very important questions that is objective type questions of the last exam of this semester fifth sem that is uh, environmental studies okay so in this we are having a uh, five modules and uh, i'm going to do a video on each module the module one one video and uh, totally uh, all the five videos of all the five modules okay so i'm going to provide around 70 to 75 very important questions from each module okay which would be appearing for the exam so uh, you could refer these questions and study these and you could score easily around uh, 35 to 40 marks out of 50 in the final exam okay yeah so uh, in the, from this video i'm going to start that it is common for uh, uh, mostly all the streams you can uh, go uh, uh, share with your friends and uh, 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 tell them to watch this video again before moving further please like this video your like would be very very important to us uh, and yeah, let us start now. Uh, one by one, I'm just going to uh, dictate the question and uh, which is the answer. I'm just going to put a tick mark on it. Okay. So just uh, uh, make through, uh, make a note through it. Okay. And what and all I've uh, uh, discussed, right? The, this whole thing PDF would be available in the description with answers. Okay. So just uh, go through it, uh, study it, and uh, you could expect for these questions in the exams as well. Okay. Yeah. So please like this video. I want each and everyone to please like this video. Okay. So yeah, let us start now. The first module is. Uh, module 1 that is ecosystem and biodiversity okay these are the objective type questions and answers so here i am just displaying the question and four options i am just going to put a tick mark uh, of uh, which option is the correct one okay so this is the first question here the term environment has been derived from the french word which means to encircle or surround okay the answer is environ next question which of the following conceptual spheres of the environment is having the least storage capacity of matter okay the answer is biosphere so please go through it or whatever is the answer right i'm putting a tick mark like this third question which of the following components of the environment are effective transporters of matter okay the answer is atmosphere and hydrosphere next is biosphere is uh, the thin shell of organic matter on the surface of earth comprising of all the living things okay so this is the basic definition of a biosphere Next we have atmosphere consists of 79% of nitrogen and 29% of oxygen by volume. Which of the following is a biotic component of an uh, ecosystem? The answer is fungi. Next question. In an ecosystem, the flow of energy is called uni, uh, unidirectional. Okay, this uh, There is a unidirectional flow of energy in an ecosystem. Next question. Which pyramid is always upright? energy the, uh, the the pyramid of energy is always upright okay ninth question in complex ecosystems the degree of species diversity is high next question the organisms who directly uh, feed on producers are called herbivorous the sequence of eating and being eaten by an uh, in an ecosystem is called a food chain which of the following is a producer in an ecosystem? So the producer in an ecosystem are plants and an, uh, plants and some bacteria capable of producing their own food are the producers in an ecosystem. Which of the following are uh, statements is false in this case? Here you can see that energy is recycled in an ecosystem, uh, but in uh, actually the energy is not recycled in the re ecosystem because the energy flow is not uh, repeated. Okay, so it is not recycled. Option C is the correct answer. Next question. The largest reservoir of uh, our uh, of nitrogen in our planet is atmosphere. Next question. In aquatic ecosystem, phytoplankton can be considered as producer. The basic requirements of uh, human beings are provided by the nature. Environment is the life support system that includes all of the above. That is, it includes air, water, land. Okay, all, all these things come under environment. Next question. In an ecosystem, biological cycling of materials is maintained by all of the above again. That is, producer, consumer and decomposer. Next question. Organisms which feed directly and indirectly on producers are called consumers. 
the primary producers in a forest ecosystem are called as chlorophyll containing trees and plants abiotic component includes all of the above that is soil temperature water all of the above comes under this abiotic component next question which of the following statement is true in this case green plants are self nourishing okay this statement is true in this case uh, while as other statements such as producers depend on consumers it is not true producers depend on uh, themselves biotic components includes all non living components but in the actually it is abiotic and uh, herbivores are not dependent on carnivores okay so option a is the correct answer next is primary consumer are herbivores a predator is called as an animal that feeds upon other animal okay that's good. this is called as a predator next question the word environment is derived uh, is derived from the word uh, is derived in the language french which among the following is a climate factor all of the above that is pressure humidity temperature all comes under the climatic factor next question which of the following is the terrestrial ecosystem all of the above are the terrestrial ecosystems forest grassland desert etc next question the world environment day is celebrated on 5th of june factors responsible for a balanced ecosystem is are all of the above that is balance between predator and prey balance between vegetation herbivores and carnivorous environments and balance between competing species and biotic factors all these are responsible for a balanced ecosystem next question which of the following is absorbed by green plants from the atmosphere that is carbon dioxide is absorbed by the green plants next habitat uh, what does habitat refer to habitat refers to both options a and b that is physical conditions of the place where organisms live and chemical conditions of the place where organisms live okay next question a food web consists of interlocking food chains which of the following are producers plants and animals uh, plants and bacteria are the producers which of the following is an ecosystem all of the above that is forest desert mountain all of them are uh, a part of an ecosystem environment means surrounding that is biotic plus abiotic components in which organisms live next is which of the following is uh, not the meaning of an ecosystem that is a small unit that can be self sufficient is not the meaning of ecosystem okay because the ecosystem cannot be self self sufficient next question which of which of it is not an example for an terrestrial ecosystem water is not an example for a terrestrial ecosystem okay it does not come under uh, land uh, landslides okay the uh, the below land uh, things or materials are also are called as are are not called as terrestrial ecosystems next question 38 the factor responsible for stable ecosystem are balanced between all of the above that is predators and prey vegetation herbivores and carnivorous competing species and biotic fact next question 39th one the important physical factor responsible for a good habitat of an organism is are all of the above again that is light temperature and humidity are are the important physical factors which are responsible for a good habitat next question which of the following is not a prominent chemical responsible for a good habitat here it is so2 okay sulfur dioxide 41st one dash is termed as the life zone of the earth biosphere is termed as the life zone of the earth next question an ecosystem is a region in which living organism interact with their environment next question the term ecosystem was first proposed by a g transley next the two major environments uh, of ecosystem are abiotic and biotic biotic components include all living organisms next food chain is divided into dash basic categories food chain is divided into three basic categories the transfer of energy and nutrients from one feeding group of organization to another in a series is called as a food chain in which of the following place we can find the cold deserts the cold deserts can be found in the region of himalayas what kind of climate can we find in the thar desert okay in thar desert it is basically dry 50th one where we can find babul tree babul tree can be found in the semi arid ecosystems next is why runoff kutch attracts aquatic birds in monsoon season 
it attracts because the desert land is converted into salt marshes okay next question what makes desert regions to become highly unproductive uh, the salinity of the desert region makes it highly unproductive next is how can desert ecosystems be conserved uh, by it can be conserved by minimizing the human activity next question which of the following tribe protected trees from several generations in rajasthan uh, the answer is bishnoi next where we can see indira gandhi canal we can see that in rajasthan next which kind of soil we can found in the surface of uh, thar desert that is uh, aeolian which is the biggest desert in the world including both hot and cold regions the answer is antarctica next one how many parts are there in a forest ecosystem there are two parts in a forest ecosystem okay land and water next next one on which factor forest type is mainly dependent forest type is mainly dependent on abiotic component next where we can find the coniferous forest in india we can find it in the himalayan regions next question why most of the sunlight does not penetrate to the ground in the evergreen forest it is because of the trees which overlap each other okay which state in india has the maximum percentage of its area covered by forest the uh, madhya pradesh where we can find the thorn desert uh, in india we can find it in the semi arid regions how forests increase the atmosphere's humidity it can be increased by transpiration which of the following type of forest is important for watersheds okay uh, tropical montana forests are important for watersheds uh, how the tropical rain forest gets the name uh, due to heavy rain the tropical rain forest gets its name how many types of aquatic eco ecosystems are there there are two types of aquatic ecosystems where plants and animals live in the aquatic ecosystems uh, they live in the water what made organisms to build their ecosystem in aquatic uh, the evolution made the organisms to build their system in aquatic regions where we can find both running water as well as stagnant water we can find it in the fresh water ecosystems next question which is the largest ecosystem on earth oceans are the largest ecosystem on earth which covers the maximum amount of area in the earth okay next which of the following is among the world's most productive ecosystems in terms of biomass production the answer is brackish water ecosystems next question which is the simplest aquatic ecosystem the answer is pond which ecosystem is known as giant permanent pond that is lake ecosystem last question 75th one that is how many oceans constitute the marine ecosystems around the peninsula of india that is 3 okay yeah so like this we have discussed 75 questions from module 1 which uh, i thought that most of the important ones okay i picked it uh, from uh, my uh, perspective and uh, from researching from previous years and all and which is common for mostly all the streams okay yeah so like that i have picked some 75 questions from this module so please go through it each of the question with the answers have a uh, uh, tick mark like this so go to the questions uh, uh, Go all, go through all the questions and see the see its answers and try to read it. Okay, so this uh, uh, this now I I would be saving this and putting it in the description so that you would be getting uh, the the questions with the answers. Okay, with ticked answers. So go in the description and access it and uh, make a, a good note on it and please try to learn it. Okay, so since this is the last exam, so please uh, give it your best and uh, all the best. Okay, so in the next video I'm going to discuss with module two. So yeah. Uh, like this video share this channel to a huge number subscribe to our channel so that you will be getting the latest notifications okay thank you